Hi guys, in this video I'm going to explain how I modified my Tier 1 Concealed Axis Elite holster fitted for an Olight PL Mini 2. And um, I didn't originally intend to make a video about this, but uh, I had a couple guys at my range ask me about my new holster, so um, I just figured I'll make a video and then I'm sure there are other people out there who would like to maybe see how how I did this. Okay, so as you can see, this is my Sig Sauer. This is the P320 RXP X Compact. And then it's got the PL Mini 2. And then I have this gas pedal. So that's... Here's the holster. The holster originally came fitted for the PL um, Mini 2, but uh, I had to make the, the channel for the gas pedal. And what I did for that was, I just basically took some aluminum foil and then I just covered all the areas around it that I didn't want to heat. And then um, I took a heat gun and then just heated this area until it becomes soft and pliable. And then for the gun, uh, you have to block it. You have to block out basically every, every little part that protrudes. You have to create a channel for that. And then, so what I did was, um, I found this little plastic piece. It's basically from something like this. It's a tooth, you know, one of those toothbrushes you get in the, on an airplane, the amenity packs. So basically I, I just, I, this seemed like it, it would fit perfectly over that. So I just take a, uh, took a Dremel tool and cut that in half. And then, okay, and this is, this is what, this is what it looks like. So I just tape that up around that. And then I also wanted to kind of keep this channel for the, for the Olight, um, whatever fastener. And for that, well, I basically just take these wooden chopsticks that you get, you know, you get from Asian restaurants or whatever. And I use those, you can cut them down and you know, they, you can use that to create channels. Okay, so after you get this area heated up until it's, it, it becomes soft, then you just shove everything in there. And then as it's cooling, you need to just kind of form this area to fit around that plastic piece. And that was it. And then once it cools, then it will accommodate the gas pedal. Um, what I also did was I cut off the bottom portion of the holster. Uh, originally, this part extended out, and that's where the retention screw was. But I wanted to be able to recharge my light without having to unholster. So I figured I could just use... The remaining screw. I had to cut off. There's like four originally four holes here, but so I had to cut off one. Um, but I use the lowest uh, remaining hole for the. This is this is what basically keeps the retention. You can tighten it or loosen it, and then as you can see, I have a. I use the thicker rubber, whatever washer, and there, and that just keeps the claw in place and allows me to kind of open up the, the holster so that it goes in smooth and easy. Retention is still pretty good. Um, I'm satisfied with it. Um, Cause it doesn't, I know it doesn't look, look so great, but uh, you know, once it's, once it's in your pants, no, one, no one's gonna notice. So this is my holster. And it accommodates my needs, so I'm satisfied. Um, don't be afraid to 
modify your holsters to, uh, to, to, to suit your needs. You know, this Kydex is pretty easy to work with. Just gotta heat up whatever area that you, you want to reform and then go about doing it. So thank you for watching. Um, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to ask, leave them in the comment section.